And a number of senatorial candidates joined thousands of demonstrators in the Metrowide Labor Day protests on Wednesday. Other bets opted to go around the country. Greg Gregorio with the rest of the story. Senatorial candidates from the Labor Wing Coalition were present on Wednesday's Labor Day protest in Mendiola. Among them was Labor leader Leody de Guzman, who claims that lawmakers have turned a blind eye on workers' wage concerns, but have been active in pushing for measures in favor of big businesses. <laughs> With this, the Labor Win Coalition bets promised to do what they can to push better measures for workers. Attorney Sani Matula says he would push for labor insurance expansion for those who have just lost their jobs. Attorney Alan Montano, on the other hand, said added benefits for OFWs will be on his agenda if elected in Senate. Ernesto Arellano and former Bayan Muna Representative Neri Colmenares also wage support for laborers. Centorial bets who have been topping surveys held their respective campaigns outside Labor Day activities. Frontrunner Cynthia Villar and Grace Po, who are statistically tied in Pulse Asia's latest senatorial survey, also shared the stage at a meeting the Avanza in Laguna on Wednesday. Former special assistant to the President Bongo also thanked his supporters after landing on fifth place in the survey. Bagamat uh, naglalaro ang aking ranking between uh, 3 to 5, uh, sobrang saya ko po sa mainit na pagtanggap ng mga kababayan natin. Senator Nancy Binay's ranking slightly dipped in the post Asia survey, but she's still hopeful that the tiff between her siblings will not affect her chances for re-election. Binay believes the family feud won't go beyond the post season. Meron din kami problema ng sister ko eh. Uh, we have a strained relationship brought about dun sa problema namin dun sa asawa niya. But on our end, never kami nagsara ng pinto para magkaayos-ayos kami. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, We Are One News.